Especially when she reckless And babe, you're my bestest friend Yeah, she my bestie My love for you is endless Nobody else can end it And when I get the money back Hey y'all, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a demo using my current favorite concealer and that is the Lancome Tint Idol Ultra Wear All Over Concealer. If you're familiar with me, you know my favorite way to do my makeup, put concealer up under my eyes, spot conceal where I need, and then out the door. So of course, this was extremely appealing to me. I am in the shade 500 and I love the consistent, well, let, let me just show you. Come on, let's just go ahead and get right on into it. So I don't have anything on my face right now. We're going to go ahead and put this up under my eyes. And then I've got a little dark spot here. I'm not sure where that came from. And I'll show you guys the actual coverage. So first of all, the brush, it's kind of got like this teardrop, but then it has a slight slope, which I think is fantastic because you can really get in that inner corner. For me, that is where I typically want all of the coverage because that is where I have the most darkness. So I'm gonna go ahead, I always like to start in the inner corner, blend it out, and if I need to add more, I can go ahead and do so. The 500 undertone is perfect. It's not too warm, it's not too cold. cool. I have more of a warm golden undertone so i feel like this is very very suitable for my skin it's not going to give you a super super highlighted under eye look as well this this shade is just very very natural now you can see blending this out super super easy i prefer to use a sponge you can use a beauty blender whatever you like but I love how easy and how fast it is to blend this out. And then the finish of it is very, very natural because sometimes with some concealers, like for instance, I love the Estee Lauder Double Wear um, Natural Radiant. That's great. However, sometimes if you were someone who maybe just wants to leave it and not set it, it might be a little too radiant for you up under the eyes. For me, I personally think if you're someone who maybe does have drier under eyes and you're wearing this, you can get away with not setting this just simply because it is a natural finish. And I still love the Estee Lauder concealer. That's just one of the things that I noticed because it is very, very radiant. So if you didn't set it, then your under eyes might be, you know, a little bit more radiant. Okay, so I'm gonna put just a tish, tish, tish bit more and a little bit goes a long way. You don't have to put a lot on, spread it out, draw shapes and all that. Just put it where you have the most darkness and then blend out from there. I also love that the finish of this isn't too, too matte. That way you don't have to worry about it being too drying under the eyes, especially if you are someone who does struggle more so with drier under eye area. This one would be really, really nice because you don't have to worry about that. Beautiful. Okay, so now I am going to show you guys, I'm going to spot conceal right there. I don't really have too many dark spots these days, praise the Lord. So you guys saw that dark spot, right? It is gone. It is gone. Now, of course, if you want to have a shade that's gonna more so match your skin because maybe you have a little bit more spot concealing, I would highly recommend you get that. Um, you don't wanna get something that's too light, especially if you are going to try to spot conceal on your face because it's gonna highlight it and it's gonna be very obvious that you did so. But you can't even tell that I even concealed that spot over there. That's crazy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and spot conceal a few more just little places on my face here. And when you are spot concealing, I recommend using some sort of stippling brush or if you are doing a sponge, you want to do the stippling motion. So basically you wanna make sure that you're patting. You don't wanna do any swiping because when you kind of stipple it on like this with the patting motion, you're gonna get the most coverage. If you start swiping it, that is when your coverage is going to leave you. Beautiful. And it looks, it, it just looks just like skin. I can't get over it. It looks just like skin. 
Okay, so now I am going to set up under my eyes really quickly, of course, using the LYS Triple Fix Plus Powder. Wait, it's not plus, it's just Triple Fix Powder. I was thinking about MAC. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and set up under my eyes here. And I like to use the one in Banana. I use this to set under my eyes and I'll use it to set all over my face. And this is what my under eye area looks like. So I'll go ahead and pull you in. Like I said, if you have drier under eyes or drier skin and you're wearing this, you won't have to set it. But for me, I definitely want to make sure I set it because I do have oilier skin. I just love how natural this concealer is because it's very, very difficult to find a natural concealer that is skin like that's not overly matte but you still get the full coverage like I absolutely love that this has the ability to cover but you still get all those other great qualities so this is what we are looking like I'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup and then we'll talk a little bit more about the concealer all right so I am back makeup is all done let's go over the specs and see exactly what Sephora says so it is a hydrating I agree lightweight I agree full coverage concealer that brightens the look of dark circles covers imperfections without creasing or caking. I agree with all of that 100%. Whenever I do my reviews for now on, I'm always going to make sure that I put a focus on what exactly the specs are, just simply because if you saw the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer where it says, then you know that I was a little bit irritated that they said that that tinted moisturizer was matte and it was far 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 from that the one thing that it does say is this is the finish is matte and i would say more so of a satin it's not drying it's not overly drying at all maybe a soft matte but even with that i really do feel like if you are someone that maybe does have drier skin or fine lines under the eyes i really do feel like you can wear this whenever i wore this in the salon it didn't shift it didn't crease, it didn't crack, it stayed in place the entire time. So for me, I give this concealer a 10 out of 10. I have been using this heavily for, I don't know, maybe four weeks or so now. Definitely my current favorite concealer. So down below in the comments, let me know, have you tried it? Are you gonna try it? And if so, give me your thoughts. Also, everything that I put on my face because I'm testing out some new products today. That's why you didn't see me put them on, but everything that I tested on my face, I'll make sure to leave that down below in this description box. As usual, you guys know the deal. Keep it simple. The Keep It Simple Makeup Guide is still available on my website houseofamberp.com slash shop if you need some makeup tips some makeup guidance i got you all right i will see you guys in the next one peace